Word containers are perfect for creating sorting or categorization activities for your students. First, ensure the object that you wish to be your container is large enough for its contents. Next, select the object that you wish to be the container. This container is a shape and text grouped together. Go to your property browser. If your browsers are not visible, go to View, then Browsers. And if necessary, expand the container menu. Under Container, expand the drop-down menu next to Can Contain and select Keyword. Click the three horizontal dots next to Contain Words. Select Add and input your keyword. For this example, let's use Nouns. Click OK once you've added the keyword. Note that you may add a contain rule and reward sound as well. Now select one or more objects that you wish to apply this keyword to. You may select multiple objects using the control key for Windows or the command key for Mac. Under the property browser, expand the identification menu. We will need to apply the keyword here as well. Click add, then input the same keyword. Click OK when you are done. With these objects still selected, scroll down to the container menu and select True from the drop-down next to Return if not contained. I will quickly complete this process for the verb container and verbs. Finally, go to your object browser. You need to be sure the containers are layered below the objects to be contained. Simply drag and drop to rearrange them if necessary. You may test your completed keyword containers in presentation mode.